Good morning everyone, welcome to another day of Vlogmas, Vlogmas. I'm just about to start work. I got a good night's sleep last night. I'm about to, who's the idiot that didn't close these? Honest to God. But why? I got a good night's sleep last night. It's not very good lighting, is it? It'll, it'll fix itself. I'm just going to make myself a coffee. Some rat got into the cream, don uh, cream buns yesterday and didn't put the lid on properly. So they're probably all stale now. But anyway, I had my cream bun last night. It was freaking delicious. But in all honesty, it was way too big. Like... Normally, <laughs> I would eat probably in a whole day. I'd probably eat three of those, if realistically. But I found yesterday was just a bit too much. So I think what I'm going to do, because they're probably going to go stale before I can eat them, I'm going to actually cut them in half and freeze them and then just have a half one, when, like take a half one out whenever I'm feeling like I want one. Um, but yeah, it was super nice, really, really nice, very light and fluffy. Highly recommend them if you like those sort of cream buns. Richie's IGA in Australia, they do them here. I think the one we go to is Harrington. Uh, they do them here and you get six huge buns for normally $5.50, $5.49, but we got that on sale for $2.74, so that was a huge bargain, and they're really good. So yeah, I think today, uh, once Michael, Michael's no doubt going to have one or two for breakfast, once he has his breakfast, I'm going to just cut them in half, freeze them, and then have them in the freezer for a little treat whenever the cravings raise their ugly head which I have a feeling may be coming next week with um, a little visitor that we get once a month. <laughs> I'm just going to make a coffee, just my regular coffee today. This will keep me going until roughly about 10, between 10 and 11. I normally have my first meal of the day and I kind of have that as my lunch brunch, I guess, lunch, uh, breakfast slash lunch. Um, and then... Yeah, that will usually then keep me good. I might even see if I can go till about 12 today because I find if I eat at around between 10 and 11, I get hungry around 3. So then I have kind of like a snack at 3 and then we eat normally around 6 or 7. I guess that's not too bad. But I want to try and maybe stretch it out so that maybe the first meal I eat at 12 and then the next one is my dinner. Um, yeah, I don't know. See how I feel. I'm not too fussed about it. I basically am just trying to listen to my body and only just eat when I feel hungry and not, you know, not just eat because I'm bored or want something to do. But this is definitely my morning coffee. I do wake up now a little bit hungrier than I normally do. So this coffee is actually quite good. Keep me satisfied. I just make a regular black coffee and then I put two tablespoons of cream in it although we are out of cream now so I'll just put regular milk um, yeah that should be fine also too my face calmed down a little bit since last night it's still I've still got like a real like a dry scaly patch here but yeah definitely not using those face masks again I think I'm done I think I'm done with all the beauty stuff I'm just gonna stick to my duff soap my Nivea cream and my Dove cream like that is all I need honestly like there's I haven't used anything on my face that has ever made a significant difference so I think at the end of the day just try to stay healthy from the inside out and then just yeah a mild cleanser a little bit of moisturizer and I think that's all I'm going to stick with so yeah I'm going to hand over all the rest of those uh, face mask to Jessie and if she likes them she can have them if if it affects her face then I just tell her to throw them out or we can probably don't actually we'll donate them to the thrift store because they're brand new still in the packet I mean someone can get use out of them they're only like they're literally only three dollars to buy them maybe they can bundle them up into a, a bundle I might actually go to the thrift store 
this weekend because it's my weekend off from visiting my dad so I might actually because I need to drop off a heap of stuff at the thrift store this well not necessarily this weekend but I've got a heap of stuff that I want to drop off there and hopefully do it before Christmas so we've cleared the garage out so yeah we might go there and then I might actually do a grocery shop on Saturday as well as much as I freaking hate it but we'll see uh, otherwise I might just give my list to Michael and then he can buy it all next time he goes shopping oh I don't know I don't know what to do I just always feel like a day that I've left the house is a wasted day that's honestly how I feel like if I have to leave the house I feel like the day's wasted I don't know why like so you know every time I have to go to port to me that's just like a wasted day it's an extra day that I didn't get to stay at home is anyone else like that <laughs> just hate leaving home I want to just stay at home all the time but yeah so we'll see I'll see if I end up venturing out to the thrift store probably not I'll probably save it for the weekend when I head up to my dad's because I'll probably just go there on the way and then yeah head up to my dad's I don't know we'll see what we can come up with I made it to 11 30 <laughs> I was aiming for 12 but my stomach just started grumbling about 10 minutes ago so I made myself some brunch uh, what we've got here I'm just obsessed with the sourdough at the moment I think because I've deprived myself of it for so long I'm having it every day so I've got two sourdough toast with a little bit of butter I've got two eggs that I've scrambled and added some spring onions and a little bit of ham too like one I think was was it once yeah one slice of ham I just sort of shredded it up put it in there with some spring onions salt pepper and then I've just got some basil on top because like I said I'm obsessed with basil at the moment so that is my breakfast so I'd probably say around 550 would be today's breakfast like I said before my goal is 1900 calories a day at this stage it seems to be working as far as you know I'm losing weight eating that much I worked that out based on those calculators that I was explaining in my last video so yeah that's working for me so far um, I thought maybe today might be a what I eat in a day kind of video so I'll show you everything that I actually eat today so that's breakfast slash lunch quick check-in still working it is now 2 30 I'm just feeling like one of these uh, zero sugar Oreo Cokes I really like these um, I haven't seen them on the shelves for quite a while so I have a feeling the limited time has probably come to an end but I still have a couple of boxes of them like boxes I say like the six pack uh, a couple of six packs still in our pantry so oh, I'll be very sad once they're gone because I've really grown to like them and uh, yeah I, I tried the vanilla zero the zero sugar vanilla coke don't really like that as much I thought it would taste very similar it does the flavor is very similar but the aftertaste on the vanilla coke is a lot stronger than this so yeah my fizzy cookie flavored cola oh well well I'm gonna savor it and enjoy it so I've still got two hours to go at work and yeah as soon as we finish today we'll get stuck into doing the next stage of those two Christmas journals hope you're enjoying this I don't know like I just I'm at a loss as to what to give you guys for content during the week because honestly like I work full time like I work 8 till 4 30 just sat at my desk doing computer stuff and yeah it's just my life is just really boring like I don't really do much and even on the weekends I don't really go out and venture outside much especially this weekend it's going to be a scorcher so I have a feeling I'll be tucked up inside um, I'll have to come up with something though so yeah I just thought well I haven't done any journals for ages and yeah I just thought maybe we'll do a couple of pages you can see how I kind of do them these are my art journal ones anyway different to the creative journals where I use the stickers and uh, a lot of the Timu papers and stuff haven't done a lot of those yet I do want to start getting stuck into those 
maybe over the Christmas period when I have a few days off from work but yeah at least I can show you how I do my art journal pages I'm not an expert just playing around having some fun uh, and yeah bringing you guys along for some content <laughs> so I'm gonna have this now and I'll catch up with you guys in a couple of hours checking in another food update it is currently 3 30 now and I was feeling a bit hungry again uh, so I've got eight strawberries that I've just like cut up 100 grams of cottage cheese because I didn't have any yogurt normally I would just have a tub of yogurt with this and then uh, 20 grams of honey just on top so yeah nice little healthy healthy reasonably healthy snack got my protein got a bit of carbs so yeah hopefully it'll all balance out my insulin a little bit so we're gonna enjoy it and this uh, little meal should will definitely see me through until dinner time now so yeah that's meal two of the day hey 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 we're back in the craft room. Actually, I don't often film from this angle, so you've probably not seen that backdrop before. Before we get started with today's little journal session, I got a package from Tengu. One of my packages that actually did arrive. I've lost one. Well, I haven't lost one. They have lost one. And I'd, by they, I mean, I think the courier company. It was all of the Christmas decor that I didn't buy. <laughs> bought a few extra tree picks, two little ornaments, and what else did I get? Oh, a couple of couple of other little items, but um oh and my swimming costume was in that one as well. I ordered a little tankini set, a little. Well, it's not little. <laughs> it's big, but yeah, I ordered a tankini set too, so that was in there. Tank a tankini. It's like a two-piece swimsuit but it's like a tank top is the top and then like boy leg shorts is the bottom see i'm scratching at those things again no well that was the thing like because i said um over the summertime i'm actually gonna go at, to the beach and actually spend time in the water in the beach yeah yeah because i keep every time i'm watching other youtubers when it's their summer vacation and they're at the beach and that and I'm watching them going, wow, that looks like a really good day. Like, I, sh I should go to the beach one day. And I don't know why I don't. <laughs> so, yeah, I, th I figured I'm going to buy myself a swimsuit and, yeah, go to the beach. Well, clearly God doesn't want me going to the beach because he's bloody made my package disappear. So, yeah, apparently... I'm going to the beach this weekend. Are you? Yeah. Which beach are you going to? Foster. Oh, okay, nice. With Blake or just a group of friends? No, with Blake. Blake, good. It'll be a nice day. I really want to go to the beach. Look at those little itchy bites. And because like, there's a cluster of them and I'm scratching and then I take the tops off them again. Oh no, it's gross. You probably don't want to see that, but that's what I'm doing with my arm. I've got to, I'm trying not to um, scratch that one because they're getting sore. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so apparently the parcel scanned at the depot like the courier depot in botany on the 20th of november and it hasn't moved ever since and trying to and and it's it's not australia post either it's this new courier company that they've got i think it's called team global express i'm not happy well i say i'm not happy because i think the team global express was who delivered this one today but yeah i'm not i'm not really happy because they're so hard to get hold of like you cannot ring anywhere like you and it's all through like you know that um ai bot kind of messaging and it's just so frustrating that you can't talk to someone and they always say like because i've rang them twice now and they say oh yeah we'll get we'll get back to you in 24 hours and then no one gets back to you uh, and then you're you're on the phone waiting for another like 40 minutes again to try and get hold of someone. Well, not even on the phone on on mess like a they open up like a live chat and then it says oh like you know 30 to 40 minute wait and so you sit there waiting and yeah it's so frustrating because you just can't talk to anyone you can't get any proper answers and I mean they have no clue where it is so yeah I'm really 
not happy, but I contacted Timu today anyway, and they are so good. Like, I just, I just messaged the guy to say, hey, I'm just trying to trace a parcel. And without even knowing, like, I mean, he already knew which one it was. I mean, clearly, because it's probably still outstanding on their side as well. He already knew which one it was. He, he like, before I've even said anything else, he's um, given me a 20% uh, voucher to use for my next order to a maximum of $20. Jesse, stop being a creep. You're a creep. It's the fire in. Now, you're the creep. The fire in. Jeez, you got a Nose. bit of sunburn today. Nose. Defiant, put your nose up here. Look at your nose. Defiant. Look how tanned you are. Oh, his nose doesn't actually reach that high. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, like Timo was really good. Like he already gave me, he gave me a five dollar credit because the order was late, which I'd already received one back in November, like after it had exceeded the date it was supposed to be there. So he gave me another one of those. Plus he gave me a twenty percent voucher like a 20% discount voucher to use to a maximum of $20. And then he said, oh, do you, do you want me to just give you a full refund on the order? And then if the order comes, then you can just, you know, keep the refund and keep the order. And I said, look, I'll give it another week. We'll just, you know, see another week because apparently the courier company has escalated their investigation now. So... Yeah, I said to Timu, just we'll give it another week, and then if it hasn't shown up next week, then yeah, I'll we'll, I'll get I'll just get the refund. So I've put all the I've put all the items back in my cart. Like <laughs> I've gone and selected all the items again and put them in my cart, getting them ready just in case because I think the voucher um, is only going to last until next week as well. So I thought, well, yeah, I'll um, if they if I don't get it by then. Uh, I'll just get them to give me a refund and then I'll just repurchase it all again. So, yeah, one of my parcels is missing. And that's the first time it's ever happened, to be honest. Um, I've never not got any of my parcels ever. Like when, with, when I've been dealing with eBay, when I've been dealing with um, AliExpress. Like this is the first time I've actually had one go missing. So, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. But anyway, I thought I'd quickly just show you... What the amount of shit? I know, right? This is what I'm saying. Because I have multiple packages arriving every week. It's not food, Dee. It's a bag. Do you want to rip the bag up? There you are. Go on. Go have fun. You can hear him ripping up the bag. All right. So, I'll show you a couple of the things I got. First thing I got was this packet of, what do we call these? White feathers? Or is it... I don't know what you call them, Gra um, not grass, like those things to put in the tree, like just extra little tree picks. So yeah, just a few little feathery looking things to put in my tree because I like them. I don't know how, I can't remember how much everything is. Not a lot. It's Timu. I think these were, I don't know, if I, if I remember while I'm editing tonight, I'll put them up on the screen, but probably not. But yeah, I don't know even know what you call these things. White feathers. Yeah, anyway, they're for the Christmas tree. I got a couple of, uh, should I show you these? Yeah, I don't think Jamie's gonna watch any of these vlogs. I got a couple of little stocking stuffers for Jamie. So like I was saying before in another previous vlog when I got all of my- I'm gonna tell him to watch your YouTube Don't tell him, Jesse. please don't. Um, I got him a bundle of razors, so you can see here, they're really, really good razors. I think they're six bladed, and this whole pack was like, I think, $4.98, and I think you get one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 blades, plus the actual handle for like six, uh, was it $6, $4? super cheap like literally something like that in Australia like if you were to buy just four four of those razors would be nearly $30 here in Australia and that's not even with the six blades on that would be I think the maximum I've seen is like four or five maybe super super cheap so if you use razors definitely get them from Timu I highly recommend them so that's one little stocking stuffer for Jamie the other little stocking stuffer, because he requested some sunglasses, 
and it's I mean it's hard buying someone else sunglasses because you don't know what's going to fit their head or anything like that but I just figured look these were so freaking cheap because he's on a work site I didn't want to spend a lot of money on sunglasses because he doesn't look after his things that well <laughs> so I got this three pack for literally like six dollars eighty or something like that so he's got just a plain black pair a blue like lens pair and a gold lens pair and I think that was the style he was just looking for just plain like sunglasses they're only plastic they're only cheap but I think they'll be fine for for what he wants and like I said, it's yeah, you, I didn't want to spend like $50 on one pair because you don't know if it's going to fit them. And if they don't fit, well, he can literally throw them out if he doesn't want them. <laughs> like, it's not a lot of money. So, yeah, some sunglasses. Now, the rest of the stuff is journaling kind of stuff. Maybe I'll flip you around and just quickly show you. Again, you know, I'm obsessed, but I don't want to just take up the whole vlog showing you journaling stuff. So... We'll flip you around and we'll just go through them very quickly. I've got a lot of papers again this time. Okay, so the first four packets I got were circus themed stickers. So they're the PET style ones. They're decent sized ones as well. They're not too small. I mean, you've got a couple of smaller ones, but yeah, I just really, really like these ones. They're going to be a good addition to my journaling. Am I even showing you right? Some uh, Ferris wheel. Is it Ferris wheels? What do you call them? Not a Ferris wheel. What's the Ferris wheel? Is that the one that goes up in the air, like high? What's the one that's flat where you sit on the horses and go round and round? Oh, merry-go-round, of course. <laughs> Mer <laughs> merry-go-round. I was thinking Ferris wheel. But yeah, so those are the stickers. Like I said, I'm not going to go through every single one, but circus theme, Timu, if you like those. So did I show you the backs? You can kind of get an idea, but with the stickers on there, it's a bit hard. So yeah, that those packets. The next little group of packets I got were like little tags like little sort of tag things <laughs> I will open one because I don't even know what these actually look like but yeah just already ready-made sort of license plate style tags and different sort of tags let's try the pink one. Oh, cool oh wow okay I actually thought they were going to be smaller but I'm actually pleasantly surprised at that so they're a cardboard like a stiff cardboard and yeah just basically you can just there were ready-made tags that you can just add um, some string to and add it to your journal pages. Oh, they're really cool. And they're just like, almost like fake license plates as well. I like those. So I got a couple of the different colors. I got like a pink set, an orange set. Um, that's the orange set. That's the pink one. That's the yellow one. And then that's, let's have a look at this one. This is like a grunge set and it's got like rulers and stuff. Ah, oh, yeah, cool. I like those. They're pretty cool. Yeah, and then you got your rulers here. Very good. All right. I'm happy with those. Next little packet of stickers. This is like a vintage circus theme. Oh, vintage circus. Vintage Christmas theme. So the PET ones, these are only sort of smallish ones. I think they say maximum of about five centimeters, but I just love these. Um, I'm going to use these, not in my art journal, different kind of journaling. But yeah, very, very pretty. I like the the vintage style of these. I'm obsessed with vintage Santa. So yeah, they're really cute. Got a heap of stickers in there. We're not gonna go through all of these, but I'll just show you like the first two pages. This is a 10 pack of circuit. Why do I keep saying circus? I think because it's Christmas and circus. So yeah, this, I know, but it's like the kiss sound at the end. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think I've got high blood sugar, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Got diabetes. Leave me alone. So this is a 10-pack of Christmas-themed papers. So, yeah, each one 
and yeah, you know the drill. This one is a, oh, I think these are too pretty. I think we'll have to have a little squeeze for these. This is, a, I think, a 10 sheets as well. Um, freaking hell. These are like circus goth kind of. Circus again. What the f Christmas, like a goth Christmas style fairy. I freaking love these. I probably should have waited until I got this pack and I should have done a page with one of these. But yeah, absolutely love those. This set, absolutely love. So this is a bigger pack. I love the girls on this. I just really love these AI images. A lot of people, are, I don't know, they're against them. They don't like them. I really like them. I love those sort of girls. I'm not even sure why people are against them, but yeah. And then you get a sheet of stickers as well to match. Love those. Then, ha, ah, circus. We got a circus theme, grungy kind of circus theme, or like more of a, yeah, like a devilish circus theme, which I really love as well. These are amazing. Oh, freaking stunning. I cannot wait to do these journal pages, honest to God. I'll probably be starting them next year, I think, after Christmas when I have a little bit of a, a break. Very cool. Love those. Next is, this is just a colourful fairy themed one. There's 10 different sheets in that one. Next we have a wolves themed one because, you know, huskies, wolves. That's uh, nine sheets in that. Love that one. We have a, another Christmas kind of fairy one i'm not going to go through that one there's 10 sheets in that this one is a like a valentine's day theme so it looks like you get some stickers in that and then all like valentine's day themed papers as if i don't have enough we've got another christmas themed paper that's 10 sheets in there and then this one's a fairly big one. There's 36 sheets in this one. So let's just have a quick pan through this one. Really nice pages in this one. Love it. Looks like they repeat as well a couple of times. Yeah, super cool. Love those. That is all that came today. So let's get into some art journaling. All right, so pages are reasonably dry. I've fussy cut around this one a little bit more so we can blend him in a bit. So I've got all the colors that I wanna work with on this page and I'm just using some different stencils to create some, yeah, some interest on the background. So this not only helps to hide the lines that are on the pages, but also too, it helps to blend in all the colors that we painted on the other day so you know it didn't look that great as of yesterday but once we've got all these stencils down you you don't really notice the colors as such it just all blends into the one background um and yeah i'm pretty happy with the way this one turned out overall like it was uh kind of exactly what i had pictured in my head so yeah uh and just yeah, just regular acrylic paint. I'm also going to be shading in uh, the bit where the Santa is going to sit. Uh, I'm sort of shading that in white, uh, giving it a bit of a white background to help the picture stand out a bit because the page is quite busy. So this is what I'm doing now. And yeah, that's pretty much the page done um, as far as the stenciling goes. And then we're still going to then put a quote and all of that on the next page. And I might even do a bit of paint splatter on it this time. I've never done that before, so we'll see if I get the guts to do it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that one. So I've made the bit of a white, a white background there just to, you know, make it stand out a little bit more. And then we can put something, some words or quote or something on that side. Pretty happy with that, actually. It's probably not quite the colour I was thinking. Like, yeah, I wanted a bit more of that sort of colour, but nah, I'm, I'm happy. It's good. It's all good. So we'll leave that one dry and then we'll do the rest of that one tomorrow. But see how I mean? Like, the background, like, it didn't look that great when, 
you know, when we started, but when you add some stenciling to it, like it just, the whole background just sort of blends in. You don't really see anything, you know, prominent that's sticking out. So yeah, happy with that one. Love the colors. So again, I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> I wasn't really happy at all the way this one started out. And I, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to redeem myself from it. Because uh, yeah, those sort of um, paint marks on there were pretty pretty intense and pretty hideous but I think at the end I was quite happy with the way it turned out and yeah I don't have any like uh, way of doing this I just plonk stuff on wherever I feel it needs something so yeah I'm I don't know maybe I'm doing this all wrong I just enjoyed the way I'm doing it and yeah there's no right or wrong I don't think you just just have fun with it. Just do what you feel. If you muck it up, no one cares. No one, no one's going to come and you know report you to the journal police. Um, <laughs> just go over it. Like you can always paint over it. You can even rip the page out if you really hate it. But I've never found I've had to, and I am usually the type of person that if I feel like there's one single mistake on there, I'll rip the whole page out because it makes me angry. But yeah, with these uh, art journal pages, I just honestly, I just really enjoy doing it. Like I enjoy the process even more than the end result. So yeah, that's what I encourage you to do if you're just starting out like me, just go with the flow. I mean, that's why I'm using these composition notebooks as well, because they're just, they're like a throwaway notebook. So it doesn't matter if you ruin it, if you haven't ruined anything that's worth anything. Um, and that takes a lot of the pressure off. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way that one turned out. Hey, Deefy. You hot? Too hot, little boy. So, I've put all my little feathers in the tree. I don't know. Can you see them on camera? I had a few homemade feathers, but Deef's been picking them out and chewing them off. So, they're my homemade ones. But these are the ones I just got from Timu. I just think it gives it a bit more of like a whimsy sort of softer look to it. I like it. Probably get a few more, I think. Can never have enough, enough, like you can never have too many tree picks on the tree. And you know, I haven't really decorated around the backside there. So yeah, I could probably do with a few more tree picks at the bottom and maybe another bunch of those little feathery things. Oh, I love my tree this year. Oh get you on the on the dark side so uh while the journal pages are drying you have got to be joking every time without fail it's silent 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 the minute i start editing or vlogging there's blasting music everywhere all right so while my journal pages are drying I'm going to try to find a quote or some sort of Merry Christmas kind of words or something to put on the pages. Yeah, I'll probably just have a look like on Pinterest or something for some Christmas quotes and then maybe go on Canva and uh, print something out. I won't take you through the whole process because it'll probably take me hours to try and find something. But uh, when I find something, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I'll show you anyway. And then for dinner tonight, uh, Michael's got some rissoles from the butcher and some sausages. And it's not extremely healthy dinner, but yeah, we're gonna have rissoles, sausages, and some waffle fries. I've got over a thousand calories still to have today. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'll be way under that. And we desperately need to do, I, re, I keep saying this every single friggin' day for the last six months, I feel like, I've got to do a meal plan and I've got to get like a proper shopping list going. So yeah, I really need to do that, hopefully tonight. And then Michael can get some stuff in for the weekend. So yeah, I'll come back in a sec once I've got some quotes or if I don't end up coming back and finding something today, I'll find something tomorrow. Okay, so here's dinner. Like I said, it's not the healthiest looking plate, but it's food. So we've got a beef rissole, a pork rissole, two different kinds of sausages. So each one of the patties is 100 grams each. 
then the sausages are 50 grams, so that's 300 grams of meat, and then that's about 80 grams of chips. That's all. It seems like there's a lot, but they don't weigh very much. So, yeah, I'll add up the calories once I finish, and um, I'll put it on the screen here because I just don't want it to go cold. So, yeah, that's dinner tonight.